So let's see this questions. This is a questions asked by the UPSC in CSET exam in 2022, right? And many uh, student uh, was not able to solve it in the exam, and many of the student marked a wrong answer. So today we will see how we can solve it. So in math, what we have to do? We have to write whatever is written, right? We have to convert it. Here the in, in the CSET paper, the language is given, right? And we have to convert that language into equations or in a mathematical sense, we have to make. Okay, so we have to convert this language into a mathematical equations. So how we will do it? When 70% of a number x, 70% percent, I told you like what we have to do, 70 by 100 of a number x is added to another number. Another number is what? Y. The sum becomes, the sum of these number becomes 165 percent. We are removing the percent sign and we are converted into fraction, right? Of the value of y. So it will become 70x plus 100y is equal to 165y. When we will solve this further, it will become 70x, 100y will go this side. Right, so it will become 165y minus 100y. So it will become 70x is equal to 65y. Now we will write it as x upon y is equal to 65 upon 70. Now we can divide this number by 5, like right? so it will be 13 by 40. Now we will read the other part. When 60% of the number of x, 60% of x is added to another number, is added to another number, what? Z. Then the sum becomes, the sum is becoming 165% of the value of Z. Now we will solve this equation, right? So it will become 60x plus 100z is equal to 165z. So it will be 60x. We will move 100z into right hand side and then we will minus it. Then it will become 65z. Then x upon z will become 65 upon 60. We can cut them through 5. Right. So it will become 13 by 12. Now, we know from our learning, from ratios, if suppose numbers are given x, y, z. Here what is given x, y was? x was 13 and y was 14. And here x is 13 and z is 12. Because these both number x, x are 13, so we can, y will be what? So y will be here 14. Right. So it will become like this. Okay. So now here we can see the largest number is 14, which is y, and the smallest is z. Right. So, so from here we can see like y is greatest and then x and the smallest is z. So this will be our answer. This is option A. Right. So option A is our answer.